Welcome to my channel, my name is Nick. In this demo slash tutorial video, I'm going to share with you how to make a simple brush animation like this. This brush animation is composed of 6 to 7 brush drawings of the same sized heart with little variations and then animated using a Photoshop CC. To make this type of animation, the first step is to draw the same thing at least 5 times. If you only draw the heart twice and animate it, it will look obvious that you're just shifting between two images and it won't look that nice. That's why you have to make the same drawing at least 5 times. And since I want my drawing or animation to have that dry brush effect, I decided to use a brush pen. The brush pen that I chose is one that has a synthetic hair tip. It is a brush pen that has individual strands of hair, not one with a felt tip. This pen will give my drawing a rugged or an unrefined look, and that is the style that I want to go for for this type of animation. If you want your heart or your drawing to be colored, I would recommend that you still draw it in black ink and color it in Photoshop. That way you could get the exact shade of color that you want for your drawing, and it's going to be easier for you to clean your drawing in Photoshop if it is in black ink. So I then draw the heart for about 6 to 7 times using a black brush pen. You have to keep in mind that your drawings should have more or less the same size. Your animation won't look that nice if you're jumping from a small heart and then to a bigger heart and then back to a smaller heart and then to a big one. Unless you want it to look like it's gonna explode. But if not, make sure that your drawings are about the same size. Once we're done with them, we import it to Photoshop by scanning it or taking a photo of it. First thing to do in Photoshop is to clean your work by making sure that your brush strokes or your brush drawing is completely black and your background is white. I've made a tutorial video on how to clean your work. I'll just leave the link in the description below and you could go check it out. Now, after cleaning your work, we separate each drawing into individual layers and then we arrange them in a way that they are directly on top of each other. Next step is to hide all the drawing layers. Now, we're ready to animate. On the toolbar of your Photoshop CC, go to Windows and then click on Timeline. And then a Timeline tab will appear at the bottom. Look for the Create Frame Animation button and then click on it. Thumbnail of your drawing will appear at the bottom left part. That is your first frame. Next is duplicate that tab by clicking on Duplicate Selected Frames. Make sure you have one frame for each drawing that you made. So if you made six art drawings, make sure you have six frames, one for each drawing that you made. Now, click on the first frame. It is the leftmost one and then unhide the first layer of your brush drawing. Next, click on the second frame and then unhide the second brush drawing. Repeat the same process until all of your frames have visible drawings. Now we'll set the speed or duration of each frame by selecting all of the frames, then click on the drop down below it. By default, it shows zero seconds. Click on others, type in 0.05, and then hit enter. That is the setting that I normally use. After that, click on the drop down below that says once, change it to forever, so that when you click on play, it will play your animation in a loop. It won't just be played once. Now press play. So there is your animation. You can make adjustments to each layer if it's necessary. You could duplicate all that slice for 10 to 20 times so that when you export it into video file, your video won't be less than one second. If you're satisfied with your animation, you could go ahead and export it. You could do that by clicking on file, export, and then render video. Once you've exported your video, you're now ready to share your work. If you followed along this tutorial and would like to see your work, don't forget to tag me when you post it so that I'll be able to see it, like it, and comment on your post. Please give this video a thumbs up if you find this video interesting or if you've learned something. Share this video with your friend who would appreciate this tutorial. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel so that you won't miss out on any of my tutorial or demo videos. Comment down below if you have any questions or if you have any video requests. You could visit my shop at ruhai.com to check out the stuff that I made and I'll see you next week for another tutorial video. Bye!